Holy smokes, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tyler, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another very volatile day on Wall Street, and there is some fresh rumors about potentially a Fed U-turn, or more specifically, a government U-turn in the bond market. Yes, Janet Yellen has some things to say about the treasury market, and that is partly why you got the sell-off in the beginning of the day, and now you are seeing a rally. On top of that, I do want to talk about something interesting I am seeing in the premiums, especially for the TQQQ. That is a trade that I am pretty heavily involved in as of right now. And you're seeing some very weird things happening with the premiums today, given it's not up all too much. On top of that, we're going to talk about the positioning of the hedge funds for not only AMC stock, but the broad markets. Go over every bit of news that you need to know, as well as the earnings that we are going to have after hours today and how that could move the markets up or down. Guys, so let's get straight into this video. We have a lot to cover in a very short amount of time. If you guys want to come trade with me live in real time, if you guys like what you see and you want a little bit of extra help, you want a little little bit of a tool to help you, uh, just a little bit, never a financial recommendation, link down below in the description to do so for that. But nonetheless, let's talk about what is going on. This is a midday market update. And you can see as of right now, the S&P 500 is up 1% today. It was not like that in the beginning of trading. You went from 378.75 on the S&P, about 15 minutes into market trading. And then over the course of the next 45 minutes, you drop to 373.11. We were down close to 1% on the S&P at one point, and it was a very volatile move. You've seen some very big candles, and there was just a lot of things happening really in the bond market as well as with the U.S. dollar because TLT, the 20-year treasury, this is something you want to watch like a hawk because this thing has been pretty much going straight down you're seeing a full-on liquidation in the bond market you're really seeing a liquidity crisis in the bond market and that is freaking investors out after all look at all of these consecutive red weeks that we've been seeing this is the weekly candlestick chart one two three four five six seven eight weeks of consistent consecutive declines in the bond market you had one positive week and then one two three negative weeks uh before that right and the week it was positive it was only up half percent the bond market in other words is getting destroyed that is causing the bond yields to shoot through the roof that is causing stocks to get absolutely destroyed and at one point today the bond market was down a lot right you could see it, it was pretty much a straight sell-off as soon as we started trading for the day you hit that low and everything started to reverse and that is what has basically allowed the s p 500 to also reverse courses as well these these charts look very very similar now at the same time you also had the dollar which um is is coming up today as of right now that is not a good thing you want to see the dollar fall and at one point when the bond market did start to actually recover when the stock market was starting to recover the dollar started to fall now you're seeing the opposite the dollar is starting to gain here on the day so a little bit of push and pull the dollar going up is negative the bonds going down is negative and that's why you've seen that initial sell-off in the beginning of the day but like I said, the chart on the bonds as of right now has been pretty much straight up. So that's why you've seen a very bullish tilt to the markets as of the last couple of hours. The main reason for this is because of what Janet Yellen said. So as of 11.05 a.m. today, Yellen says taking steps to enhance treasury market funds resilient and this is because like i said you've never seen a drop in tlt this aggressive in the history of tlt in the history of the bond market you've never seen a mass liquidation a liquidity crisis this fast and this hard so there is going to be some steps they will have to take to uh slow this down because you will bankrupt the government there will be a, a, a U-turn at that point, and you will see a massive rally in the stock market if they don't do something to stop TLT going down. And Janet Yellen saying that puts more credence to that Fed U-turn idea that has been floating around in the market. So that's why 
this says article came out about two hours ago that's why about two hours ago the market started to go up and the bonds started to go up as well in the way that they did i think it's mostly due to yellen making these comments so I hope that is uh, beneficial to you guys, and I hope that that makes a little bit of sense why it is so important. Now, as far as the S&P 500, how people are actually positioning for the day, you are seeing a 91% positive order value. That means for every $100 going into S&P 500 options, $91 are bullishly placed, whether that is selling puts or buying calls. It's a bullish direction, uh, positive order value, right? So you're definitely seeing people very bullish on this market. You're seeing 3,700 orders totaling $366.5 million. So uh, pretty comparable, you know, halfway through the, the trading day, ab ab about half the dollars that you usually see heading into the S&P 500. And you are seeing for at least this Friday, the call open interest uh, is still very, very low at 25.37%. The puts is sitting at 74.63%. So if you do see a big rally, there's not a lot of positioning still for that upside move. And that's where you could really see a crazy move by the end of this week and that is i think the biggest thing to point out if you do see the government step in and start support supporting the treasury markets if just saying they're looking into doing that is not enough to slow down the sell-off which it doesn't look like it is here today i mean after all tlt is still hardly positive on the day well that is is uh, going to be a big problem, right? Then they're really going to have to U-turn and you're going to see a big move in the equity markets. Now, as far as AMC stock, let's go ahead and pull up this data on the Ortex platform. And you can see that the option activity for the day sitting at 22% positive order value with six orders totaling $135.44,000. So not very bullish here today, but by the end of this week, the, the open interest for the call side is 77 and a quarter percent and the puts is 22.75%. Uh, so a lot of bullish positioning by the end of this week and we'll just have to see how it all does hash out now as far as the free flow out on loan that's sitting at about 36 percent the days to cover sitting at about 4.83 percent and the 100 percent share utilization that has pretty much remained the same now you are seeing a live short interest of free float sitting at about 18.89 percent live short interest the uh, actual shares that are sold short is 97.36 million with a cost bar max of 21.7 percent and cost bar average of 20.21 percent and after all you are seeing amc stock down about 2.3 percent today not a bad day a lot of stocks are down a lot more um, because you really are seeing a risk off day uh, nonetheless, because still, you know, the, the, the bond market is not giving you really any good news. Yes. We're not selling off in the, the way that we were in the beginning of the day, but you're still not seeing a risk on day. The Dow is well outperforming the NASDAQ by a two to one ratio, uh, a five to one ratio almost for the Russell 2000. It's not a risk on day. So it's not surprising. AMC stock is down about 2.3%. But nonetheless, uh, not something that I would worry about in the grand scope of things. If the government does step in and support the treasury market, well, that's going to be bullish for all stocks. And the stocks with the highest short interest, those are going to be the ones to benefit the most. Now, as far as earnings here and after hours, you do have Discover, Logitech, Range Resources, AGNC, Cadence, Zions, uh, Bank Corporation, Crane, Aaron's, MedPace, and Cadence. Now, the big one that I think the markets are going to pay attention to that could actually move the markets in a big way is Discover. What Discover says about the consumer. Now, don't let me be over overly dramatic here because I don't think it'll be a big, big deal. I don't think it's going to move the markets up or down 1%, 2% like an Apple or an Amazon or Microsoft. Microsoft or Google earnings will this week, uh, but it will move the markets to some degree. If the consumer is really loading up on debt right now, that's probably not going to be a good thing for the markets. But then again, it might be because if they're loading up on debt, maybe the Fed doesn't have to raise rates as aggressively. It's one of those weird situations where 
you know, it could go either way. We'll just have to wait and see how the earnings come out. Now, as you guys already know, for tomorrow, UPS, GM, Coca-Cola, Cliffs, Halliburton, GE, Valero, uh, 3M, JetBlue, and Raytheon Technologies reports earnings tomorrow in pre-market. So if you guys want to make a trade on those, if you guys trade options, your time to do that would be by the end of the day today or to play the futures market. And then in after hours tomorrow, you have Microsoft, Google, Enphase, Visa, Chipotle, Spotify, Textures, Instruments, Skechers, Boyd, F5. Now, I think Microsoft and Google earnings, that's going to either be your make it or break it, I think, for this week. If you get bad earnings out of Microsoft and Google, I think it's going to be a bad day, obviously, Wednesday. And then Thursday, I doubt Apple and Amazon earnings are going to be that good. Amazon, this is a little contrary or, or arbitrage whatever you want to say i have seen a lot of amazon vehicles so maybe people are you know spending more money on amazon as prices have went up for other things i've kind of heard people say that uh but that's real contrary right arbitrage i don't know if that's the case uh just in my location or if it's the case everywhere let me know down below in the comment section if you guys have been seeing more amazon vehicles actually delivering packages because i definitely know i have but nonetheless apple uh that's going to be a little bit of a concerning earnings as well so guys that's pretty much it for this intraday update we have a lot of other things to talk about around 4 p.m because today is going to hash out to be a crazy one long story short you want to you want to see if TLT continues to make its way higher. Well, that is going to be very, very good for the markets. If the dollar can actually fall, that will be very, very good for the markets. And again, the ticker to watch the dollar is UUP and the ticker to watch the bonds is TLT. So make sure you guys have that pulled up on your Weeble or wherever you guys are trading at. So guys, that is going to be it for this video. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Source of comments, questions, or concerns down below in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.